okay, this is where I'm at so far. Um, got everything welded up. Um, I had to redo this where it connects to the seat post because uh, I was using one of those um, three inch wheel casters. Um, it was too wobbly. The thing started jackknifing on me, you know, fishtailing or whatever you want to call it. And I said, not nah, too dangerous. So I made, the, I made a universal joint basically. I had a piece of angle iron here, some square tubing, and little pieces of angle iron welded to a plate. And here, more angle iron welded together here and here, here and here, onto this. Uh, crappy weld, but um, actually that's the welder right there. No Arbor Freight Special. But you know what? It works. That's all I need. They're good enough if you're uh, just doing it for a hobby and stuff. And the engine, another Arbor Freight Special. The rear tire I got at uh, Go Kart USA, but the problem with it, it's a little wobbly. The rim's bent a little bit, and the sprocket is not concentric with the wheel, so it's a little um, off, off center basically. So as you're riding along, the chain gets tight and loose, tight and loose, and um, I don't like that. And that's a lot of stress on the chain. And I ordered another wheel from another company another 10 inch wheel and, um, it comes riveted this one it wasn't riveted I had a bolt it on um, hopefully that one will be straight um, it clutches a uh, max torque clutch 12 tooth and the rear spot sprocket is a 60 tooth um, I had it up to, I had a GPS monitor on my bike, so I had this thing up to about 37, almost 40 miles an hour. And uh, on a bike, that's plenty fast. Trust me. That thing, I've had up to 140 and it was still climbing. But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this little guy. Um, and that's about it. Figured I'd bring this old GT bike back to life again. It's been sitting for, oh, I bought it actually some 21, 22 years ago. I used to do a lot of mountain biking when I was younger, back in the 90s. But uh, I figured this is an old, old man's way of getting around now. But it's fun. Um, I guess that's about it. I got a throttle I hooked up here. And a kill switch I got a hook up yet. But uh, you know, it works pretty good. Um, not sure what to do back here. Maybe I'll cut this off somewhere around here. And then, I don't know, build a little platform up here. Something to put something up here. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But it works just the way it is. So I'm happy with it. All I got to do now is take everything apart, clean up the frame. Um, Prime it, paint it up, and then put everything back together. And that's about it. Let me know if you like it. Um, ask me any questions about it. If you want to set a project like this, um, you're going to need a welder, which would be the best thing to do. I mean, you could do it without it. You want to bolt everything together, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. All the material here, I bought all this tubing at Home Depot or Lowell's has them, little square tubing, one inch tubing, um, basically everything else I bought online, um, I think it was um, OMB, oldminibikes.com or OMB.com, I don't remember, if you google it you'll see it, um, I bought the clutch there, the chain, the throttle, um, I don't know what else, oh, the kill switch I think. They got a lot of stuff on there. If you Google mini bike parts and stuff like that, you'll find a bunch of websites that sell it, all that stuff. Um, I guess that's about it. But yeah, it's a good idea to get a welder. Even that's a little cheapy there from Arbor Freight. I think with a hundred bucks, 120 somewhere around there. Um, 
110 outlet, but it's got to be a 20 amp to work best. Um, you should have a, a, a 20 amp uh, breaker uh, plugged into this one here is a one uh, 15 amp. I'm sorry. So the ones in the kitchen are 20 amps, so I had to run this extension cord, this heavy duty 12 gauge extension cord into my kitchen because I know that's a 20 amp. And I was using that the power from my kitchen to weld. So um, I guess that's about it. If you uh, want to ask me any questions, if you want to start a project like this, let me know. I'll uh, try and help you along. All right. All right, see you later. Okay. This is what I come up with so far. I made a little uh, frame around the engine, and this would be good to put like a, those plastic cargo uh, things on top, uh, storage containers, whatever you call them. And I fixed the sprocket; it's not off center anymore. And I put a kill switch on there. And that's about it. Let me give it a. Let me start it up. Take a full test drive. 